Hi everyone, we're back with the latest episode of ASEAN News. Still with me, Vanessa. European Union lawmaker suspends Aung San Suu Kyi of Myanmar from rights price events. Myanmar leader Aung San Suu Kyi will no longer be invited to events of the European Parliament's Human Rights Prize. European Union says a protest over accusation of genocide in her country. Suu Kyi, a former political prisoner of Myanmar's then ruling military junta in the 1990s, who now rules as a state councillor, was awarded the Parliament's Sakharov Prize in 1990. Suu Kyi, who came to power after a landslide election victory in 2015 that ended half a century of army rule, is accused internationally of failing to denounce a military campaign against Rohingya Muslims in Myanmar. Her stance on the Rohingyas, her seeing her strip of other awards, calls for the Nobel Committee to revoke the Nobel Peace Prize that she won in the 1991, and criticism from former supporters. Suu Kyi denies genocide and has defended her country against the charges in the UN court in The Hague. Filipinos disappoints by Korean netizens criticism of TikTok star. Filipinos expressed disappointment after racist remarks from both Filipino and Korean netizens are posted on social media sparked by a controversial post of a Filipino social media influencer. Merong Filipino TikToker na a Filipino TikToker out of ignorance had a tattoo made without knowing the meaning and that it was offensive to Koreans. But the Korean netizen responded online by calling Filipinos slaves ugly and short for me both sides did wrong first the filipino didn't take into account the culture of others and the meaning of the tattoo on the side of the koreans they generalized just because the person who posted is a filipino that triggered the entire community to make hashtag cancel korea trend and then that triggered the entire community to actually trend the cancel korea a Filipino K-pop fan says it was very nice. It comes to cultural differences and cultural appropriation. It wasn't very nice. Because <laughs> um, when it comes to um, cultural differences and cultural appropriation, any sort of slurs going back and forth won't help educate the other camp. So what happened was parang people just fought fire with fire, which didn't really help the situation and you know no one really learned anything from it the hashtag cancel korea trend online after some korean netizens express anger with derogatory racial slurs that insult not just porch but filipinos as a whole some filipino netizens express their anger at the racist remarks from the korean social media users in hawaii the actress have over 15 million followers on tiktok and over 2 million on instagram post a clip of her dancing revealing the rising sun's flag tattoo on her arm Indonesia students trade plastic trash to study online in order to access Wi-Fi. Millions of Indonesian students remotely to learn since many schools shut to the coronavirus pandemic, a particular challenge for poorer families and those in the remote areas. So students and volunteers have come up with creative ways to get around the problem. The pandemic exposes millions of households in the Southeast Asian countries still no access to the internet, even a device like a mobile phone to do remote learning. Dimas Anwar Putra and a friend collect plastic trash in Jakarta neighborhoods in exchange for Wi-Fi access. With no internet access at home, they need to collect one kilogram of mostly plastic waste to trade for an access to the internet so they can do online learning. If we collect trash, it is likely a charity work for me, and apart from that, we also get free internet data. Kalau buat belajar online. The problem of learning online is I rarely use a phone. I share my phone with my parents and sometimes they're not at home. Orang tua juga suka jarang ada di rumah. The Wi-Fi station is the brainchild of Ling Solihin, who sells trash collect by students to purchase data costing 340,000 rupiahs. Jadi kesulitannya itu kalau kita The problem is when the internet quota ran out before by the end of last month, we couldn't afford the service. So this week they can only access the internet at least three times a week because I worry it will run out before the end of the month again and they can't study anymore. Therefore, we hope people can help us get more internet data and get more students to come. Anak itu lebih banyak, kuotanya lebih banyak dan muridnya pun akan lebih banyak. In Bogor, about 80 kilometers south of Jakarta, volunteers bring a car equipped with a mobile network transmitter weekly to remote villages so students can use the internet. The school's volunteers provide laptops and mobile phones. Sebenarnya kita 
Awalnya itu karena We started this service at first because the government had decided students should do online learning and we heard complaints from students, especially those who live in the remote areas. So we came up with the idea to help the kids in villages and that's why we created mobile Wi-Fi. According to the Association of Internet Service Providers Indonesia, about one in six of Indonesia's roughly 60 million households had an internet connection in mid-2019. Indonesia's capital reimposed restrictions over coronavirus. The governor says in a news conference that Jakarta is set to reinstate wide-scale social restrictions because the rise of coronavirus infections threatens to strain its health system. Saat ini kondisi darurat Right now, we are in an emergency situation, more pressing than before, the start of the pandemic. Therefore, do not leave home unless you are forced to, and don't leave Jakarta when it is unnecessary. This is about saving Jakarta residents. If we let it go on, the hospitals will not be able to take in more patients, and deaths will increase in Jakarta. The capital reinstate restrictions similar to those imposed when public transports are limited and dining in restaurants are forbid and working from offices are prohibited. The move receives mixed reaction from Jakarta residents, as some worry their income will be impacted, and while others believed it is good move for the future good. There will be new rules on Monday again. For sure our income will be impacted. Now it is great if we can get 50,000 rupiah a day, but from Monday onwards we will suffer again. It will be very difficult for all drivers, no matter whether they work for Gojek or Grab, driving a car or motorcycle, the impact will be huge. The occupancy rate of isolation rooms at 67 COVID-19 referrals hospitals in Jakarta is now 77% and the ICU occupancy rate is 87%. According to the central government data, Jakarta recorded a daily average of over 10,000 new cases, therefore the total more than 200,000 coronavirus infections and more than 80,000 deaths and the highest death toll in Southeast Asia. Yoshihide Suga of Japan wins a ruling Liberal Democratic Party leadership to replace Abe. Japan's Yoshihide Suga wins a ruling Liberal Democratic Party leadership election, paving the way for him to become Prime Minister in a parliamentary vote. Suga, who serves in the powerful post of Chief Cabinet Secretary during Abe's nearly eight-year tenure, he says he will pursue his predecessor's Abenomics recipe of hyper-easy monetary policy, government spending and reform, and follow a diplomatic line center on the United States and Japan Security Alliance. Rival Shigeru Ishiba, a former defense minister, wins 68 votes, and ex-foreign minister Fumio Kishida gets 89. Suga is virtually certain to be elected as a prime minister in a parliamentary vote because of the LDP's majority in the lower house. He will serve South at Abe's term as a party leader through September 2021. Myanmar's upcycling monkeys push to cut plastic waste. A prominent Buddhist monk in Myanmar noticed a surge in plastic waste generated by residents in his Yangon neighborhood during the coronavirus pandemic. Authorities do not routinely organize recycling in Myanmar, while around 2,500 tons of trash are thrown away every day in Yangon, often dumped on roads and in waterways or burned. <laughs> More plastic waste has been dumped on the street during the pandemic, which is dirty. If we in the meditation center ask for donations, people will keep them clean. Then we can use these plastic bottles as food containers, which is not only saves money, but also handles the plastic waste issue. I have implemented this idea for more than three months. Dozens of volunteers help his team now, receive several thousands of uses plastic bottles a day from their community, with some recycled as food containers and others incorporated into building materials used at the meditation center. These people who help me cut the bottles are meditation practitioners at my center. With their assistance, I have used hundreds of thousands of plastic bottles to make items. It has saved me an estimate $10,000 on buying new prayer bowls. We try to use these bottles as long as we can. If damaged, we put it in a car tire for the brick. The supporter says the plastic waste can be used to build something new. 
Said Dr. Abud said, the plastic waste can be used to build streets and for construction. That's why we save our daily plastic waste into the plastic bottle to donate to him. The 9 acre or 3.6 hectare meditation center hosts workshops to process plastic waste. Volunteers use hanging plastic bottles to make sunshades and have even constructed a shelter using car types pack with plastic waste and cement to form the walls. He estimates two tons of plastic waste around 200,000 plastic bottles are recycled so far, saving around $10,000. Thailand stepped up security and COVID-19 testing at border after the coronavirus infection surge in Myanmar. Thailand's authorities step up security and mandatory COVID-19 testing for residents and migrant workers in border towns as new wave of coronavirus infections surge in neighboring Myanmar. Footage broadcast by local television on show dozens of migrant workers from Myanmar receiving COVID-19 swab tests at mobile testing stations in western Thak province. Thailand border security, scale of land border crossing, and checkpoints with Myanmar in seven provinces to prevent illegal entry. Myanmar increased lockdown measure in Yangon after reporting another record daily rise in coronavirus cases. Thailand reports a total of 3,447 confirmed infections. Residents of Myanmar capital build barricades to keep out COVID-19. Residents in some Yangon neighborhoods set up barricades to protect themselves and visitors from the coronavirus. Fences covered with clothes set up to surround the houses and volunteer residents set up a bamboo barrier checkpoint to keep track of people coming and going. <laughs> This is a bazaar street in our district and one positive case was found, and the street was locked down. We have to block the street because hundreds of people pass through this street. We had been careless in April and May. Now we have to realize that we cannot take it easy as there is a mass infection in Sitiway, Rakine. Ardus resident says the border between two townships like the border gate between South and North Korea. Now where I'm standing is at the border between two townships. As you see now, it is like the border gate between South and North Korea, at our two townships. Defense is not really necessary. The preventive measures like the stay-at-home, mask wearing and hand washing are enough, following the guidance suggested by Do Aung San Suu Kyi. The erection of barricades make the neighborhoods targets of social media criticism, but residents are taking no chances. The 124 out of 180 positive cases reports are found in Yangon. South Korean doctors divides over strike amid surge in COVID-19 cases. South Korea's peak medical association called for an end to a doctor's strike complicated efforts to curb a new wave of coronavirus infections after the government backed down on plans to reform the sector. Health Minister Park Nyung ho says the government will halt the proposed reforms and discuss them again with the industry and the parliament once the coronavirus outbreak had stabilized. It is agreed that the Korean Medical Association will return to the hospitals and the Ministry of Health and Welfare will stop pursuing to increase the number of doctors and building public medical schools. The government will consult with the Korean Medical Association with all the options available. He adds the government extend social distancing rules as health officials report 198 new coronavirus cases, bringing the total to 20,842 with 331 deaths. Korean Medical Association President Choi Dae Zip signed an agreement with Park ending the strike and Cologne trainees to go back to work. <laughs> We have finally arrived here after a very tough journey. Due to the government's unilateral policy making, our 130,000 doctors belonging to the Korean Medical Association had to participate in the first and the second national doctor strikes that they didn't want to in the first place. And our young doctors are still holding indefinite walkouts and being out on the streets. <laughs> Trainee medics, however, reject the deal and vows to continue the walkout involving about 60,000 intern and resident doctors. The trainee doctors oppose the reforms which include increasing the number of doctors, building public medical schools, allowing state insurance to cover more oriental medicine and expanding telemedicine. 
The government says the initiatives could help tackle crises like the coronavirus, but the doctors argues it will only deepen the concentration of physicians in the cities without improving medical infrastructure and work conditions in rural provinces. Ant as a primary business for an entrepreneur in Singapore. Ants become the primary business for an entrepreneur who is selling them as pets in Singapore, but most people want to get rid of it. The Just Ants is the city state's first shop specializing in pet ants, opened in late February, bringing business to a halt as lockdown measures to curb the spread of the coronavirus. The owner and founder, John Yes Business, marched on despite the hurdle stays sales have picked up since July. I'm trying to change the misconception and educate you know, young people, uh, children, that actually ants are very enriching. They are so important in the ecosystem. They are actually here for a reason. And then if we could actually just uh, learn from the humble ant, there's so many things that the, the ant can teach us, like uh, perseverance, uh, being headstrong. I mean, it's, it's, the list just goes on. It's, uh, the end is, the itself is just really amazing. So in Singapore, whenever there is a heavy downpour, or like a thunderstorm, there's rain, so we will wait for the rain to stop. And when the sky is getting a little bit darker, uh, we will actually you know, go out and walk around. Usually we'll find them at um, vending machines, sometimes on the ceilings, sometimes, you know, just walking on, on the ground. So it takes a lot of time. Usually, um, you have to be at the right place at the right time. A customer says just to sort of browse around and want to love the ant. Well, actually, I would, I would love to. In fact, I came here just to sort of like browse around and see like what ant would be suitable for a beginner like me. Yeah, Because for me, myself, I'm sort of a, a fish keeper. And I sort of see ants as like an extension of it almost. Where it's like, it's like terrestrial fishes, right? Yeah. Alvin Tang is a local resident who lives near the shop, says that it's crazy and really crazy, and he's not prefer of it. Well, crazy, it's really crazy, I, I, I say that. If you ask 10 out of group, 10 people, none of them will give the same answer. It's crazy. This one is crazy. If you told me that somebody loves you so much, I mean, maybe it's a trait to them. Just Ant Shops offers 30 species of ant sold in a starter kit and farms, which includes ants and a queen. Prices ranging from $13.90 Singapore to around $200 up to $300 Singapore, depending on the type of formicarium and ant species. Well, that's all for today. Thank you very much. Enjoy your weekend. See you soon.